New York Yankees hosting the Cincinnati Reds, and the Reds are plus 165. On the money line, the Yankees are minus 195. The over-under is eight runs. The Reds getting a run and a half are minus 125, and the casinos finally woke up, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, the Yankees laying a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Castillo and Cortez, neither pitcher pitched against each other last year or this year. Now, the Reds are on a one-game losing streak. They are 15-27 and 27 on the road. They are 6-6 six and six as a team with Castillo on the mound. The under is 9-3 and three in the games in which he's appeared, and the Reds have won his last three appearances. The Yankees are on a one-game winning streak. They are 35-10 and 10 at home. They are 12-4 and four with Cortez on the mound. They've won his last three appearances, and the over-under is 7-7-2 seven, seven and two in the games in which he's appeared in. Head-to-head, -head, the Yankees are 7-3 and three against the Reds in their last 10, but the underdog getting a run and a half is 6-4. and four. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under 8 is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10 meetings. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two games that they've played. I'm going to take the Yankees with the money line just because they're home. The Reds with the runs because the Yankees' bullpen hasn't been doing it lately. And I'm going to go under in this game because both of these pitchers trend under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.